The year is 1984, and a small group of engineers is developing the architecture that will become the first Spark microprocessor. In the early days of Sun, we were buying our processors. We had no core competencies in CPU design, yet what we saw in academia was a compelling reason to make a transition, and that was risk architecture, that it represented a paradigm shift that we could not ignore. Unlike some of the other architectures that are out there, risk principles allow you to utilize the advanced um, transistor densities. How do you spend 500 million transistors in a device? SPARC stands for Scalable Processor Architecture. SPARC and Solaris offer customers a unified computing environment. Development of hardware and software go hand in hand, reducing total cost of ownership and ensuring reliability. Microprocessor architects like Mark Tremblay create new Spark designs with Sun's customers in mind. For Mark, good ideas often arrive at unconventional moments. I typically rollerblade once a week. Some people think about new ideas in the shower. I think about microprocessors while rollerblading to work. There's a part of the process which is artistic part of the process. And that usually involves people like, just people like Mark, and people like Bill Joy, for example. And uh, it's not so much a process that they're going through, but it's seeing the lightning striking. Some people are just very good at seeing things that other people don't see. With Moore's Law, you can extrapolate three, four, five years, six years ahead of time. But what's the killer app that's much harder to predict? There's no Moore's Law for new applications. As chip architecture has evolved, Designers have had to contend with rapidly increasing complexity. UltraSpark 1 was in the range of 2 to 3 million transistors on a single chip. Today, we're working on the UltraSpark 5, and it's easily 100 million transistors on the same die. It's 100 million little itty-bitty things that have to be all put down on the design and managed accordingly. And then on top of that, you have 100 of those all connected together, acting in one system. Residing on a bed of the purest silicon, Today's transistors are only one one-thousandth the width of a human hair. As transistors get smaller, increased density makes power consumption a critical concern for design and layout engineers. We're reaching the point now where the number of watts that we consume and the square inch of silicon that we can largely produce today, it's sort of on par from a power density perspective with what happens on the leading edge of the space shuttle's wing. When the new designs are ready to be tested, implementation teams begin the process of turning ideas into silicon and metal. We completely simulate what the microprocessor is going to look like within a system. So we might spend a year getting data on what feature works, what feature doesn't work, and tune the design to produce the processor that excels at high throughput and also short latency. Teams work in parallel, developing high-level logic designs and logic verification tests. At Sun's state-of-the-art Compute Ranch, next-generation Spark architectures are simulated, synthesized, and verified. Sun's 1300 Spark engineers require the leading-edge performance of this 5500 CPU facility to run these complex routines. 250 terabytes of disk space, 31 high-available clusters, 200 miles of network cable, 220,000 cubic feet of air per minute. Room air changes every 45 seconds. 24-inch raised floor used exclusively for cooling. The uptime requirements that our engineers impose upon us are very, very high. We have individual jobs that take as long as four or five weeks of execution time. And if there's any upset in the infrastructure or the compute system during that period of time, that work can be lost. Here, computers run Sun on Sun, meaning Solaris on Spark. We put a lot of emphasis in Sun on Sun so that we ourselves can also get the right kind of a feedback as a user, as a customer, and we try to weed out those problems before our customers get it. Today, Spark is the leading Unix platform, incorporating knowledge gained in building three generations of 64-bit architectures. 
Beginning with SuperSpark, Texas Instruments began fabricating the new Sun-designed Spark microprocessor. What TI has contributed is really early access to technology as much as five years before that CPU comes to market. And from an engineering point of view, we've provided advanced technology models, design services, and other custom engineering services to make the CPU a success. With this kind of a partnership, also allow both companies to share the investment in R&D. So Sun, we focus on the design part, the layout part, and Texas Instrument focus on the silicon technology itself and also the foundry operations. We send them a very large file which is essentially describes the physical composition of the device. When TI receives a file from Sun Engineers, a reticle is created for imprinting the imagery of the circuits on silicon wafers. The process uses photolithography to reveal the traces which carry the electronic current. Today's chips are made with copper rather than aluminum wires, a major advance. It runs faster and also it consumes less power. It allows the chip to scale smaller and attain all those advantages. All the 900 megahertz Ultra Spark 3 and above will be produced on the copper process. At Sun Sunnyvale, California productization and bring up facility, system debugging takes place. Sophisticated test equipment helps engineers see inside the chip. There are systems that look inside the chips and catch photons, if you will, as they are transitioning through these signal lines and display it. Engineers must search for stray electrons amid the hundreds of thousands of interlaced control signals spread out across some 30 layers of a high-density Spark chip. Sun's UltraSpark 3 CPU contains approximately 10,000 feet or two miles of internal wiring. As the technology moves forward, miniaturization presents new challenges. Oxide layers between the main circuits are now five atoms thick while the sizes of the signal pads, interconnects, and buses have also been reduced. Test processes must constantly evolve. Advanced technologies used in testing help ensure that Sun's products are the best in the world, but reliability is designed into the chip from the very beginning. For example, how you protect the primary buses, the type of redundancy codes or error correction techniques incorporated at all the interfaces of the processor. And then within the processor itself, visibility buses for diagnosing faults, error logging capability, early warning type of structures, and so on. Customer investment is protected by 14 years of processor compatibility. Single and multi-threaded applications run on everything from Sun's legacy systems to the next generation. Sun's accomplished chip architects, implementation teams, and test engineers represent the enormous intellectual capital which is at the heart of the company's success. They're the winners of the Microprocessor Report's Best Server and Workstation Processor Award for 2001. And Spark has an extensible architecture and a tradition of innovation that will fire the imagination of tomorrow's architects, just as it did for a team of young designers over a decade ago.